I personally weirdly love the smell of PVA glue. It reminds me of my childhood when I used to stick PVA glue on my fingers and then peel it off. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about sunscreen. Yes, another sunscreen video. Today, guys, I'm gonna be talking about the B Skin Care Advanced System Solar Defense SPF 50. Woo! I feel like it's been so long since we've tried out new sunscreen. This is a black female-owned skincare line. Wee. I always like to say that because I just feel like I just love black owned companies mm -hmm. but anyway yes that's what we're doing in today's video i won't keep you guys here for too long so let's just jump straight into the video hello oh shit i didn't even get my thing down before we get into using as always i'm going to read out some quick facts from rich skin and the bee skincare website so the official name of this is the bee skincare solar defense spf I bought this from Rich Skin and this is £28. This has five out of five stars on Rich Skin based on two reviews. And this does come in two sizes. So on Rich Skin, you can only get this in the 50ml, but on the actual B Skin website, this comes in a 50ml and a 100ml. The 50ml is £28 and the 100ml is £42. On the B Skincare website, they say that this is suitable for discolored and and hyperpigmented skin types so if you have any like discoloration dark spots hyperpigmentation like melasma type things i feel like this sunscreen can also work for that so in terms of the description of the sunscreen b skincare says the solar defense spf 50 is a high factor sun cream with corrective capabilities it provides frontline uv defense with zinc and titanium dioxide but also contains alpha arbitin a skin brightening agent combined this formula not only prevents the sun's harmful rays from penetrating the dermis but also reduces pre-existing hyperpigmentation and photo damage we love that. Enriched with hyaluronic acid and plant collagen, it rehydrates the skin and repairs damaged cells. Aloe vera and ginseng extract provide an anti-inflammatory boost to sunburned and irritated skin. Despite offering broad spectrum protection, this formula is light enough to wear under makeup. It's available in two sizes, like I said, 50ml and 100ml. We love the sound of that. One thing that always kind of caught my attention about this sunscreen and about this brand in general is how they are targeted towards um, like pigmented skin. So if you you do have any pigmentation issues then you know a lot of their products are going to be really helpful in that also because this is a female black owned company and the founder does have a background in science and i think she's a harley street trained dermatologist maybe not dermatologist um skin specialist so she's a harley street trained skin specialist so she's got a lot of background in like skin and stuff especially as a black woman she knows things you know so in terms of what to expect they say that this is a non-chalky broad spectrum spf 50 sunscreen in a pump dispensing bottle in terms of texture this is a lotion slash lightweight fluid kind of texture which could be quite interesting i feel like this could be similar to the um polish choice sunscreen that i quite like they say that it's lightweight and this has like a natural scent i'll be the judge on that you guys know how i get with sunscreen smells and then finally they do say that because of the formulations and stuff the color the texture and the scent may vary from product to product but i guess that's just to be expected on the back they say after cleansing and moisturizing with your preferred skincare products apply a liberal amount of solar defense spf 50 on the sun exposed part of your skin every morning shake well before use also guys i've got to say this is a mineral sunscreen i'm always getting questions about mineral sunscreens but i just don't use mineral sunscreens not for any real reason just because the sunscreens I buy always just happen to be chemical sunscreens, but this is a mineral sunscreen, so I will let you guys know for sure how I like this. I'm just gonna give it a shake. Oh, okay, oh, that's quite fancy, look at that. This actually feels really nice on the face. It has a very PVA glue smell to it, I have to say. So if you don't like PVA glue, then hold your nose when you use this. I personally weirdly love the smell of PVA glue. It reminds me of my childhood when I used to stick PVA glue on my fingers and then peel it off. Comment down below if you used to do that as well. Literally the best thing about this school. But no, that's gone on really nicely. It's gone on like such a dream. I don't know if I should put on a bit more. I tried to do two fingers, but you guys saw how that came out. Ooh, 
that feels really nice really lightweight and it's gone on you can see there's not a single like purple gray blue thing there's no tint at all like i'm just brown and it's got a nice kind of like holiday glow vibe to it which i quite like wow no i quite like that i definitely need to use this more than just today like i said this is a first impressions video so this is the first one i'm using this sunscreen but um <sighs> I do like it. The only neg the only negative thing I would say is the smell. Like it does smell like PVA glue, but it that's not negative to me because like I said, I actually really love the smell of PVA glue. So that is an A negative, but it's lightweight. I think because they said it was a lotion lightweight fluid, I thought it would be quite watery. Like the Paula's Choice fuck what's it called like youth extending sunscreen moisturizing sunscreen i think that's what it's called i thought it would be lightweight and kind of watery like that one but it's not i'm trying to think of a sunscreen that it is like but it's definitely light like it's a lot lighter than the black girl sunscreen it's a lot lighter than the nivea sunscreen yeah it is very lightweight it's very lightweight but it feels like thick like on the skin like it feels like it's quite thick like before i put on the sunscreen my face was feeling so dry but this sunscreen now just makes it feel not dry it feels like it's like properly like on the skin it's like coated the skin and whatnot wow we like this oh, wow they also said this is an anti-pollution formula which is very good i think especially now with everything opening back up again and going to work and being in public transport we're just outside a lot more now so even my skin i've started to notice my skin has been acting up so much recently because of how much i'm out on public transport and i'm out and about so pollution is real um, so I think just having products like this will really be helpful in just keeping your skin kind of safe from the pollution outside. But yeah, I quite like this. I think this is really cool. As first impressions go, really do recommend this. I'm going to keep using this for the next couple of days and then update you guys in a couple of days' time. Hi guys, so just jumping into the video to give you a mini update on this sunscreen. So it has been about two or so weeks yeah, definitely about like two, two and a half weeks actually of me using this B Skincare Solar Defense SPF 50 sunscreen. If you watched my hotel morning skincare routine that I posted a couple of videos ago, then you'll kind of know a bit about this sunscreen and where I'm at with it. Personally, I do still like it. I think this is a really nice sunscreen. It's very lightweight. It feels really lovely on the skin. It's not thick. It's not clogging. I feel like my skin can really breathe while I wear it. The only negative thing I have to say about this is i have found this to be quite drying at times these days it's not that drying but if you watched my morning skincare routine at the leonardo hotel i was saying that it was quite drying so i feel like this wouldn't be that great for dry skin i have dry skin i always say deep down in the layers but if you have oily skin i think this will be really good for you because it is quite it's quite mattifying and when i wear it as you see throughout this video and after i put it on now it's not like it doesn't leave you with a super fresh healthy looking dewy glow it's a very subtle muted almost matte kind of glow if that makes sense so i think if you have oily skin this will be good to just help to keep your face less oily also i have found that because it is less glowy and dewy and stuff when i am moving like last week i had to go back into the office and i was rushing a lot i did find that my face wasn't like as sweaty as it normally would have been if i'd have used a different sunscreen so that's why i say this is good for like oilier skin types but if you do have dry skin i think you can still use it like i just said these days this sunscreen is not as um it's not as drying this is just like the mid use i still have a whole lot of the bottle left so once i have finished it i'll be back with like a final thoughts video but so far so good i do quite like it aside from like the drying thing but also i found that because it is quite what's the word because it is quite matte a bit you can like reapplication is just super easy and you kind of know when you need to reapply if that makes sense out of all of the sunscreens that i have tried on this channel that i've tried ever in my life this is the sunscreen that i find easiest to reapply but just in the sense that one i remember to reapply and two when i reapply it like it doesn't feel weird on my face even though there have been other sunscreens that i've said they're good when you reapply but this one just feels very different reapplying it and when i am reapplying it it doesn't feel like i'm reapplying it it almost just feels like i'm just putting on like face cream because it is very lightweight and you know it just goes on 
very effortlessly. I have also worn this with makeup. You'll see this in some of my upcoming videos. I have been wearing this with makeup and this goes on really nicely underneath your makeup. It gives you a nice like kind of even finish with your makeup. It doesn't slip and slide everywhere. So that's another good thing about this. As always, if you have any questions on the sunscreen, make sure you leave them down below in the comments. Um, so yeah, that's all for my mini update. So let's just jump straight back into the video. But yes, guys, so that is me done with today's video. A very short video this morning. Let me know if you have tried this sunscreen screen i'd love to know your thoughts on it i do really want to try some of the other b skincare products because like i said like i always say i'm just such a big fan of black female owned products and brands and i just feel like when people have your skin and they have very similar skin concerns to you you're just more drawn to the brand to the products just because you know that you're already going to be included in it and i know they've got a lot of like serums and face creams and stuff that i think will be good for like dark skin and dark spots discoloration have pigmentation even though my dark spots aren't like that bad these days but you know i still want just like brown skin i don't want any like discolored parts of my face but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down below your thoughts again let me know if you've tried this let me know if you have any mineral sunscreen recommendations thank you guys so much for watching and in the meantime time i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.